Hi, welcome again to What's New in Nature. Uh, my name is Lou Ann. I work at the Schlegel Library, and we're out here on the library grounds in our prairie area. And this week we're kind of seeing what's new in nature as far as flyers, insect flyers. Um, a lot of insects are hatching out now, and uh, so we're going to take a walk around here and see what we see. The first thing we're gonna, we see out here in our prairie are dragonflies, and they are, as you can see, my favorite insect. There are fossils that tell us that dragonflies have been around for millions of years, even before the dinosaurs, and they were a lot bigger back then. This size. Can you imagine this flying around in your backyard? The first Saturday of June every year is National Prairie Day, and uh, June is an absolutely beautiful time to see a lot of diversity and life out on the prairie. This is our prairie um, out next to our Schlegel Library. There's the entrance from the road right here. It goes around the park. Um, we like to have this diversity here so that we can show it to the public, show it to school. Um, all the different insects and other animals, mammals, reptiles, amphibians, uh, that use this prairie in all sorts of ways. To a lot of people it looks like a bunch of grass, um, but there is so much more uh, that lives in here with the different flowers, the pollinators, our dragonflies that we're looking at today are one of those. Um, and uh, so much life right here in the prairie. It's a great time of year to start seeing some of the different species of butterflies that come to your garden. And looking at this guy right here, I think he is a buckeye butterfly. I'll have to look him up later in my field guide book. But um, looks like he's getting some nectar from the clover out here in the grass that's right next to the prairie. This is a very patient dragonfly holding carefully or else he knows there's some really good meals around here. Dragonflies are my favorite insect because they eat so many mosquitoes. They're the best insect for eating mosquitoes. Um, so if you see one flying around your pool, your yard, this is a guy you want around in your neighborhood. If you look carefully, you can actually see his little mouth moving very quickly. A dragonfly's eyes are made of like 30,000 facets. So he can see forwards, backwards, sideways, all at the same time, which means he can see me sneaking up on him to try to get the video. This dragonfly is showing you how they do have their wings flattened out as they're sitting there waiting for an insect to fly by. What's amazing is they can fly up to 30 miles an hour, so they can fly as fast as a car in order to get catch their insects on the wing. And they have these really strong mandibles or jaws with little teeth that can actually grab those insects and tear them apart. So they are super ferocious. I have a curious dragonfly right in here who's been zipping and zooming back toward me. At one point it stopped and hovered right in front of me. And what's really cool about dragonfly wings is they can move forward, they can move backward, and they can move independently of themselves. So they can move one wing uh, one way while the other wing moves the other way. And this helps them when they have to get their prey super fast. If there's a mosquito or other insect, they can have to catch really fast. All right, if you can see this blue insect, 
very, very skinny guy holding onto the leaf there. This looks like a dragonfly, but it's not. It's called a damselfly. Um, their life cycle and what they eat is very similar to dragonflies. You can tell the difference between a damselfly and a dragonfly by the way it holds its wings. Dragonflies, when they, when they sit still, their wings are out flat, and damselflies hold their wings behind their back. Another great place to watch for dragonflies or damselflies is the water's edge. Uh, this is where they start their life. So the dragonflies will lay their eggs in the water or on uh, brushy plants right near the water here. And they start off as uh, little insects that don't look a thing like a dragonfly. Unlike a butterfly that goes through a complete metamorphosis, a dragonfly goes through what's called an incomplete metamorphosis. It starts off as an egg, it goes to a larva, and then the adult. There's no chrysalis or pupa involved in their life cycle. So in these waters, it might be one to three years before that larva turns into an adult. First the egg's laid, and then that larva will live in the waters um, it's a voracious eater, eating all sorts of aquatic insects in the water. Um, it'll be burrowing in the mud sometimes. And uh, one to three years later, it will climb up on a stem and spread its wings and take off into the adult butter, or excuse me, the adult dragonfly phase. To learn more about dragonflies and other cool insects that you're seeing outside this month, you can get online and check out some of our other wild books.